All right, now that the mycelium is running in the cardboard, um, we're going to take some coffee grounds. I've gone to a couple of local coffee shops and asked them to give me their coffee grounds. I take my own Ziploc bags with me um, just because it, it makes it a lot easier. I mean, Starbucks, they provide you with bags. A lot of them do. Um, they're used to people asking for coffee grounds for um, fertilizer for their garden, so they, they make it available. It's free. Uh, it's a waste product to them, so they don't care. Uh, it tends to be clumpy with, you know, the the latte-making compressed things, so you want to kind of break it up. And uh, if you don't want your hands to smell like coffee and turn black, you probably should uh, put on gloves before you do this. And once you've got it broken up to where it's mostly in smaller chunks, you kind of want to make sure that it's not too moist. It, it should, it's again, you're looking for field capacity, which means it, it it's moist to the touch, but it doesn't leave moisture behind. It's not dripping wet. And uh, I've put this in a microwave safe uh, container and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to heat it up in the microwave uh, to make sure that there's nothing growing in it. Um, when I put the mycelium uh, in it, uh, that there's nothing else growing in it for the mycelium to compete with. The mycelium will, will grow through this very quickly um, once I put it in there because oyster mycelium loves coffee grounds. Um, it's one of its happiest uh, uh, foods, I guess. And uh, so anyway, there. this is pretty well broken up, so I'm going to run it through the microwave. Um, I don't know. I'll figure out how long it takes until it gets really hot. Um, I'm, I'm basically pasteurizing it so it doesn't have to get to boiling, but it needs to get hot. So I uh, put it in the microwave for 10 minutes. And uh, after I took it out, I stirred it up, make sure that the heat is pretty uniform throughout. And the temperature um, is above 175 looks like it's uh, approaching 200 so that's thoroughly pasteurized and plenty hot enough I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna put it into uh, this container which um, I'm gonna clean up a little bit first and I'm gonna put a wa I'm gonna fill it with water and put some bleach in it to kind of sterilize the inside of it pretty thoroughly because you want to start with as clean a container and pasteurized media so that when you add the mycelium it's not competing with anything while it takes over while it uh, incubates in the in the media all right got the uh, coffee grounds all cooled down and the mycelium all ready to go so what we're going to do is just uh, Open it up, grab a fork. Just gonna make a little trench here. And my goodness. Ugh. Pull up a strip of the cardboard, just kinda bury it a little bit. Make another little trench here. This uh, cutting it into strips <coughs> is uh, really makes this a lot easier than using great big pieces of cardboard for this. And just kind of cover that up. That's pretty much really all you need to do. Yeah, I think I'll put one more in here. There's not much on this one. But it doesn't take much to get it going. You can also um, go the other direction. You could put some uh, coffee grounds in with the mycelium, and uh, this is uh, this mycelium's been growing in here for just a little over a week, so um, maybe ten days. So yeah, let's see what happens when we put some coffee grounds in there. Kind of give it a few more days, and then I'll. Uh, add it to some wheat straw. 